hello friends welcome to my youtube channel this is all about the hisis dynamics so i am using hisis dynamics to determine a pressure the starting pressure for the isochoric blowdown conditions you can see my screen which has a simple setup so what is this all uh, isochoric uh, blowdown is all about so what happens that when we do blowdown there is one fire case there is adiabatic depression depressurization and there is isochoric depressurization so isochoric uh, depressurization basically determines the mdmd of the pipe of the of the blowdown valve that how cool it can go when we depressurize a cooled pressurized vessel in winter conditions to the lowest one like atmospheric conditions so how quickly the temperature can fall down or is it will it cause a brittle a bitter bend or or cracking due to the temperature depression during the blowdown condition so every time you have been asked you will be asked that uh, when the vapor when the vessel is vaporized is pressurized with all its inlet and outlet conditions uh, conditions closed it is still in the hot conditions which is the normal operating condition of the vessel but if it is allowed to cool down say one day or two day or something like that so the the vessel comes in equilibrium with the winter condition like suppose we are talking about more conservative winter conditions because we are calculating mdmt so mdmt being say 9 degree c and the vessel will come into equilibrium uh, with the ambient conditions and subsequently the pressure inside the gas will go down due to the condensation in the gas so this tutorial is all about calculating what will be the final uh, pressure of the vessel due to the loss of heat to the ambient using Aspen Hysis Dynamics. So I'm not going into the basic tutorials because we know how to put these streams, how to set up a, a separator, how to flash the stream because these are the basic ones. This course, this topic is all about dynamics and it's more kind of advanced course actually. So uh, having said that, uh, you can see uh, my screen is 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 there and it is uh, with a dynamic mode activated. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's go to steady state to understand a bit about uh, this setup actually. And then we will come to dynamics and we will run the simulations and we will understand how the, the pressure temperature goes down. And this uh, calculation or this uh, high CS report can be used uh, uh for for further you know uh, giving the reports to client actually before we start please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so it becomes it becomes uh gives more you know uh, i can say driving force to create more tutorial knowledgeable tutorial for us this tutorial is very good for the for the process engineers who are part of detailed design or the feed or conceptual design and will help them to determine uh, how the pressure is, is done, how to initiate the isochoric blowdown actually during the winter conditions. So without wasting much time, let's I, I am de deactivating the dynamic mode. You can see it asks for are you sure you want to escape the dynamic mode? I said yes, we will go ahead and do the uh, escape the dynamic mode actually okay so there are kind of some inconsistencies there when you go from time to steady state so we'll fix it for sure okay says so number five has some issues i will go to the parameter i will just put 10 psi pressure which is the typical ones okay and uh, maybe it is taking some pressure or something like that I will remove that one as well. Okay, just put active. So you can see um, this all blue actually. So we are good here. Number three is a well fluid actually with the composition. You can see it is 46% uh, methane. Conditions in phase being 40% uh, vapor only. Okay, so it has more light uh, heavier. So you can see that you know. Uh, up to and decane zero nonane and some hyper components are there co2 no water 
so it is a kind of well fluid and this is 149 i have taken as a normal f as a normal we are talking all of talking about english units psig f and 149 i'm taking more towards the summer conditions actually and we will try to understand when it is a peak winter but when we talk about peak winter it is 9 degree f winter conditions and and uh, we are trying to understand that from 9 degree f when the vessel is in equilibrium with the ambient what will the final pressure we will use that pressure and in the next video we will show how to depressurize uh, this vessel to atmospheric conditions and determine what can be the final uh, final temperatures okay about the vessel you can see that uh, it's a 0.75 meter cube uh, feet cube of of volume or maybe i can put 0.75 meter cube okay okay so look to our head i will put uh, heat loss see i have put a uh, 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 9 degrees c ambient conditions which is 48.2 f and i have initialized the pressure the, the condition that vessel fluid is at 149 actually everything's uh, insulation i have made it zero thickness is by default 10 mm it seems like and and uh, that's it for this vessel actually heat losses uh, if i go i have made it more detailed ones actually so uh, this uh, setup is is converge let's quickly check the openings okay 10 psig valve is around 50 percent open this is 50 percent open this is also 50 percent open and all the tables i have already shown here you can see that okay so let's uh, go ahead and do uh, go ahead and do the dynamics ones so i will just enable the dynamics one and say yes to that one okay so dynamic button is activated and i can see uh, this uh, system is about to run i will open the uh, uh, the strip charts one second let's display it and I can see uh, this is almost uh, some run I have taken already actually so uh, I everything is constant I've just asked it to run actually so you can see it says flash failure it happens sometimes actually because when you have vessels or something like that so sorry the valves is creating this issue so let's fix this problem first and then we will come to this one so i will just manipulate uh, this thing uh, this stream and slightly change the pressure of the endless stream actually just to give us value to this guy you know and then i can say run so so you can see uh, this integrator is running here you know and i have not changed any conditions see it is 50 percent open 50 everything is stabilized okay so it is 50 percent open valve and uh, some values are there actually now i will and the temperature basically you can see the temperature is all about 1750 149 149 okay so valve is uh, it is fully uh, fully functional actually in normal conditions so i will just go and in the ratings i will try to close this valve to zero percent okay this one this valve rating i will close to zero percent and this valve also to zero percent right so you can see uh, see how this uh, this is going down actually right so for this condition you can see uh, still the integrator is running actually and the temperature in number one stream has gone down to 48 148 f which is in equilibrium to the to the uh, ambient and uh, i'll go to quickly to the uh, to understand the heat losses vessel fluid is 48 inner outer valve 48 
everything is in equilibrium with the ambient actually and what is the final pressure that you are talking about here is 1743 okay 1743 is the final pressure uh, on which it is going down still your integrator is running and you can see uh, this pressures and temperature is still constant with almost no flow so this tell tell me tell us that you no know, giving it with a given volume of of separator the graph it is a loss of heat to the ambient and the final temperature so final final pressure is 1743 psig uh, during this one actually so so hopefully this tutorial is helpful to you i will try to put more tutorials like this on aspen the high dynamics thank you